guys. So before I start my workout, I like to start with the warm up. I do two rounds or two sets. Right now I am doing the crab walks for about a total of 12, 10 to 12 steps. Um, I try to focus on contralateral movement, so the opposite arm with the opposite leg. From there, I'm moving on to banded chest punches. Uh, I basically get my opposite leg out there as and for my base, and then I just punch the air with the resistance in the opposite arm. And I try to do this for at least six on each side. From there, I go into my banded shoulder tap. So I use a hip band. A lot of people like to call these hip bands. I use a hip band, I put it around my wrist. And then whatever arm you wanna start with, I tap forward, side, and down. And then I do that with the opposite, forward, side, and down. And I do this for a total of three. I am doing my barbell bench press for a total of eight reps um, at 95 pounds, which is about 80% of my max. Uh, that is my brother behind me. And then as you can see, I start and it's immediately heavy. <laughs> like I just was not prepared for how heavy this was going to be. Um, normally when you are bench pressing, you want to make sure that your feet are in contact, your shoulders are in contact, and your head is also in contact with the bench. Well, your head is in contact with the bench, your shoulders are in contact with the bench, and then your feet are in contact with the floor. Uh, however, when you see me doing this, you will see my feet start to like tap. I don't know why I do that. I'm trying to um, be mindful of it and work at it, but... I don't know, it's just something I do for the moment. Uh, you do wanna have an arch in your back when you are lifting heavy and you can really use that to help boost the bar back up. Again, you wanna inhale coming down, exhale going up. I'm struggling, oh my God. That thing was heavy. So from there, I do dips, unassisted dips. I do six of these and I do both the barbell bench press and a dips four times. So for four sets or four rounds. So I go from here, with the dips, I take a break and then I go back into my bench barbell, but I didn't record all that. From here, after I'm done with my four rounds, I'm going to my second circuit and I am doing incline, incline dumbbell bench press for a total of 10 to 12. I could stop at 10 or if I'm feeling great, I could continue on to do 12 at a weight of 15. Here I am taking a break real quick before I start. From here, I am doing my single arm cable chest flies for 10 arms, I mean 10 reps on each arm. This was at a weight of five. Yeah. You wanna maintain that strong core or I like to maintain a strong core and really get that um, arm and chest motion 
going. You really want to be mindful and try to activate those muscles that you are trying to target. And then I am switching to the other side. And then from, so I did the dumbbell incline bench press to the single arm cable chest flies. And now I'm doing cable front raises for a total of 12, again at five pounds. And this would be, and this would be part of my circuit two for uh, three rounds or three sets. So I'll do all that again for another two times and then move on to my next circuit, which you see right here. So I took a 10 pound dumbbell and I am doing skull crushers for a total of 10. You really want to keep those like elbows close to your midline or to your body. You don't want them poking out. That's something I have done in the past. On top of that, when I bring up the dumbbell over my forehead, I used to bring it up over my chest. And I'm not saying like that's not a thing, but it's not this particular exercise. I From there, I go to the tricep pull downs for 12. I was at a weight of 15. And boy, oh boy. I love these, but like, I love them. I'm not gonna hold you. No cap. My face just be looking angry. <laughs> I be over it. I really do be over it. All right, so I would do those two for a total of three rounds or three sets and then move on to the next. So I'm almost done with my workout from here. I am doing basically a burnout. I'm doing as many push-ups as possible for uh, two sets or two rounds. I think the first one, I got to like 12, uh, uh, 12 or 14, I can't really remember. And I wasn't counting, so 12 or 14 before I was like, skirt skirt nah <laughs> i'm done right rest break and then i went back again for the last round and i believe i did eight in total normally like if i'm not working out and somebody was to ask me to do push-ups i could do probably like 15 before i get tired From there, I move on to my core for two rounds. So, I, or I call them V-ups, honestly. I call them V-ups. I'm looking at the camera because last time I recorded, the thing like literally was recording the floor. It was just slipping the tripod. My camera was tilting, it was awful. So anyways, I call these V-ups. I do these for 15 times and then I move to the Russian twist and I make sure I get 15 on each. So from there, the V-ups, I do my Russian twist thing. Normally I would do this with the weight, but because it's not added on my training program, I didn't. I'm just gonna try to follow the program to the T. And if my coach tells me to add more 
than I would or to do with weights than I would. And then for my cool down, I fast forward this, but I did the bent arm wall stretch, but I didn't have a wall. I had this pull, so I did that. And it felt great, honestly. And then I did the other side. And then from there, I went to the tricep stretch, which basically you pull the elbow to the other side of your body while the arm is bent behind you and you hold each stretch for 30 hey guys, seconds. Sorry the video ended so abruptly. I ran out of space on my camera, but um, further ado, if you like that video and want to see more of that video, more of that content, make sure you subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, thoughts, concerns, opinions, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you like that video, why not give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you didn't, I mean, Anyways, I just woke up, so please excuse my appearance, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Bye!